Hey everyone, time for more Fallout 4! So, in the last part, we just, um, got ourselves part of Rebound's breakfast by killing off some Kellogg's, and in return, we got this! Oh yeah! Oh, and also Sean is actually heading to the Institute. Bummer. Uh, luckily, we've got something to counteract. Introducing... Big Betty! Oh yeah, look at this, the Gatling gun with razors all over it! And we don't have any ammo for it, but... I can get with razors! Let's go! And here, time to discuss our fight news Nick. Or Dr. Valentine, or Constant Valentine, whatever. Constant Valentine robot. Come on, together. What do we have? I'm just asking for your opinion. Hey, wait. Hey. What's the problem here? My client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a woman's private affairs? Yeah. Well, well. Speak of the devil. You're what? back. And not with your son. What happened? <sighs> you were right. You were right, Nick. Kellogg took my baby. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. Damn right, I'm kidding. Does. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. Wow. So... I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. Scary enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where they are. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. He's huh. dead. He's Whatever dead. you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. We shot yeah. him. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Yeah, I had no choice. He wasn't gonna talk, even if I had a way of bringing him alive. Gets his brains blown out, huh? His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. Wait, what do you mean? You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. What? Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. Seriously? If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. The mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's Wait see. Me. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? Yeah, I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Oh, but... Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether Sweet. we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? Godwell. I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. If you want to head there together, just say so. No, I want. I'll to keep the cover. I already have someone with me. I'll meet you there, Nick. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna you get yes. your boy back. Trophy reunion. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. Yeah, good thing. All right, so they started dangerous mind. So we need to basically go see the animus. So, but first, I'm gonna take your death man. I'm gonna take that because I, I need that. Antiques, huh? <laughs> yes, I'm very fond of antiques. Very fond. So, um, complete check. Oh, what the? Um, okay. Nice to have that. So I feel okay. Sleep here. Take a rest now. Start the preparing act. No, I do not want to start. I want to start the main one. Optional. Obtain key to Earl's. No, I kind of want to keep. Threaten their life. 
Yeah, so... I'm being Bye. successful. Yeah. yeah, good for you, Piper. Good for you. So we need to go and, um... Basically go to the Animus. <laughs> Wait, maybe... It's like a whole Assassin's Creed thing. Most folks are just looking for a hand. Excuse me, excuse me, Piper, excuse me, excuse me, Piper, Piper, excuse me, excuse me, oh my gosh, Piper, I'll, I have a Razor Gatling gun, I will, mm, Piper, I will, Piper, you please, it's like, there's like 95% of the game of trying to get out of places where your companion's like, right in the fucking way, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Piper, come on, come on, hidden forever. come on, Piper, can you just, oh, I'll fast travel, I'll fast travel, okay, fine, damn it, fine, ah, this game is just, what, where is this? Here, um, I'm gonna say he says in good neighbor, right? So, yeah, he says in good neighbor, but it's pointing towards that old bookstore. I don't know why. There's nothing in there. So I guess we're just. Oh, so I guess it's the memory bank. I think. Forget, correct me if I'm wrong. Did they have this in Fallout 3, where you had to go like into that weird town thing and like do that weird thing with that rear, that weird you no. Know, Red Queen looking thing from Resident Evil. <laughs> the movie Resident Evil. I gotta admit, the first Resident Evil movie, it was, it was okay. I mean, honestly, it was like really, really, it wasn't like based on any of the games. It was like completely original, but still, like, it was still kind of good. Like, it was based on like Resident Evil, but it had like none of like the Resident Evil characters. Like, there was no, like, you didn't hear anything about Jill, anything about, like, like none of that. Nothing about Jill, Chris, Leon, the RP. The so, only thing you heard, there was a, only thing that was from the games, was the Umbrella Corporation and like possibly like a few famous like monsters like liquor, like liquor and all that. That was like, basically it. That's what made the, the first movie so good. I loved it. Every other movie after that is crap, complete crap. Resident Evil Apocalypse, crap. I mean, they made one of the most terrifying monsters in all of like classic video game history into a little tiny bitch. Okay, let's put it that way. That's how badly they screwed up. That's how bad an extinction was. They killed off a famous Resident Evil, not really like famous, 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 but he was in the games, and he was an okay character, like a character I want to explore a little bit more. They killed him off. I know. Dumb. Then the next one, Afterlife, was just... This is not, this is just... What happened to the zombies? Like, same thing with the Resident Evil games, what happened to the zombies? Same thing happened with this, like, what, what, what the fuck happened? What happened to the zombies? Now it's like freaking... Wait, dudes with giant axes and like Eight executioner and like contact. the dude's face split in half. It's like the, the, the fuck happened to the zombies? What was so wrong with the zombies? <laughs> Bring that back. I want to see a Resident Evil game. Ooh, I want to see a Resident Evil game was actually a zo like actual zombies, not like not like mutated shit, like actual zombies. Bring that back, please. Ro Robaco fun. <laughs> Includes Garden of Barbarian Holotip game. Sweet. Oh, cool! We got another Game Boy game. Nice and nice. Speak up now. Oh, there you are. Hey, I need to have a piece of a dude's brain. I need, I need to do the end of the thing. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. Yeah. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Hello. Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. Yeah. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Ooh. <laughs> I'll say, you're useless. No, please help us, please. please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. So do we. True. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Yeah, right here. Here's what I could find. What's this? <laughs> this isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Cool. Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Um, go on. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. Ooh. And that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Thanks, Nick. Hey, 
I appreciate this, Nick. If you die, I'm having your hat. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Are you ready, Mr. Valentine? Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's um, see you. Okay. That's the things to take off the hat. It's gonna do the brain. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. What are you doing? Are you feeling any different? Are you just like, giving a massage to the neck? flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. So how do we unlock it? Tell me you have a way past this, Doctor. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? Great. We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Um... <laughs> why not? Let's go with right. the Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Hey, don't worry. Upstore Girl is doing this for a long time. I think we can do this. Side. Oh, come on. Let's, uh, let's get this Animus thing showing the road. Um, oh, yeah, that's okay. Okay, whew, here we go. Time to go in the Animus. Gotta get my hood on. Oh, Ooh, please stand by. Oh, TV! Cool! TV and an Animus. Sweet. So, God of Earth. If, uh... I have to scream like a madman. Pull we'll me out, okay? Wave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Okay. What the? Brain tickling. Oh, why light? Why light? What the Oh, that hurt. Uh, 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 oh, wait, 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 Can you hear me? Uh, uh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Good. What the f- The simulation appears to be Whoa. working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. Whoa, what the- Am I in a brain? I'll try to through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Whoa. This is trippy. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Okay. This is so trippy. What the fuck? This might be a Fallout. Not Fallout, um, Far Cry 3. Me. Oh. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as hell. This may prove disorienting at first. Memory. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't so after soft. Door opened but, up my cat. Uh, I turn my cat. I, she my cat knows how to open my door. Open way. my door at times. And she protected me from dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. Oh. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Oh, you had a bad life, buddy. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope Ooh, someone Gordon. else is going to keep them safe. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like, before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. Oh, don't do that. Go to school. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Oh, geez. Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. Oh, shit. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hand. Damn. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. We will let you down. Oh, you've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. Yeah, that was 
Kind of there appears dark. to be another intact memory okay. close to you in temporal sequence. Okay. There. Where? Try that. Oh, one. this one? The one that just lit up? Okay, but we're just are we just like walking on top of nerves. Does this doesn't this hurt? Isn't it like doesn't this hurt the dude's brain? We're on we're on his nerves. Literally on his nerves. Doesn't that hurt? Sarah and that must be I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby... Oh, the baby? Mary! Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. Oh, you're the baby? I feel like that steady killing. work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just. Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need, um. then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary too. So you have, you have the baby. Oh, I've been back to you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her, and you don't need to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Most of it. You hear just that? Running security for the sheep. <gasps> my cat just sneezed. Looking tough. <laughs> I had no cat sneeze. No, they sure picked the right person for that. I know he Listen. It's gonna be great. I hope you guys heard that. That's like that's not like on regular. That my cat sneeze. This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. The same gun. The same gun that we got from Cat Ball. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. Don't oh, cry! Don't cry! Don't cry! Let's keep looking. Whatever made me think that a guy like me memory. should have a daughter. Wow. No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. I don't say that. I want everyone to have a chance to be a parent, you know? Everyone has a chance you know, to, be a, to be a good parent, you know? Yeah, everyone, everyone should have, like, a chance. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? I don't know. I think it was going to end swimmingly. <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you I know, another memory to they died like dogs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And you weren't there to help them. Um, nothing there, dude, but nerve. Um, okay. Wait, so, so I can guess is that he probably screwed somebody over or something like that, and they killed his family. And he's went basically went all Punisher, like, well, got revenge and all that shit. And then Nip Suit was like, hey, dude, I like your skill. Why don't you come work for us? And he's like, hey, whatever. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. Oh, they use... Yeah, they don't look like the nice types. They look sketchy. Especially this... A dude with that kind of haircut is so, gotta be evil. Um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? Uh, from time to time. If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting whoa, closer. Whoa. Try this next one. Okay, so I mean, maybe they're the two, and they hired him to kidnap Sean or something. Um, but what would they want with Sean for? Mister Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do. As you can see. Yeah. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. 
This must stop. And if I don't? I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. Oh. I don't think you fully understand the situation you I don't think I understand the situation that you're I think in. I do. Very well. B748, initiate. Why did they fire? Yeah, they could just kill them already. This, this dude could just open fire and just hmm. kill them already. Impressive. Why? Why? why we may have why? something to talk about after all. Impressive. How's that impressive? He just grabbed him. They literally could fire. One minute he grabbed him. These two here just could could just open fire and kill them. They really just. There's one that looks most. Your your robots are just effective. Okay. You have shitty, stupid robots. Okay. So that's too hard hit. But what do they want to shot? Manual override initiated. Oh, this is what happened in the game. Can you see me? Suspended. Oh, there's me. That's good. Checking food. What? Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. Hopefully it's all just... And there's... Find it. My, 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 my husband and my baby. Down the hall near the there end. is... I don't know. Chuck. And... Um, Nora. And there's... Phil. And... Jessica, there we go. Name them. It's the lady. This is the one. Here. Open it. Need to confirm. All right, we're good. I'm. Uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. Oh, that's cool. I became a badass after it. Intact memory. Whenever you're ready. <sighs> Fine. Let's just go on. We're getting closer. This is what the institute is. <gasps> is Shock. that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. Age. So. Good news. Yeah, right here. Cool. Things alive. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Such like a shot. happy little family. Damn he aged. <laughs> I ended up kinda liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Damn, so the reason Sean's like 10, 12, 11, like 10 to 10 to 13, I'm guessing. He's like around that age, 10 to 13. So he's around there. But Kellogg, it's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. This is too Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the institute. Oh, left? As in, he's gone rogue. Names: Dr. Brian Virgil. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Brian Virgil. Wow. 
Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. Mm. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. <laughs> you do something done. Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Feels like he's a robot, Lou. The way he's talking, he sounds like a robot. Affirmative. Stand next to me. Stand. What the fuck? See, robot. Told you. Teleport robot. Called it. What are you doing? X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Wow. Dumb. Fuck. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there. As soon as you're ready. Yeah, let me out of, let me out of the animus. Come on. How do I get out? The fuck? The fuck? So, watch the TV because we have the memories. Cool! That's how the animus works. You just look at a TV and a boop, up the memory go. Oh, oh, the brain tickling! Oh, the brain tickling! White light, white light, white light, white light. Uh, uh, I'm back, I'm back. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Slow no movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side it is. Oh, slow movements! No one's ever done this before. Slow enough for you? I feel. Amari. Let's start over. How are you feeling? Cool. I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Hope so. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Teleportation. We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? How does it work? Where do we go next? Virgil. That scientist, Kellogg, was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. Yeah. You're right. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. Unless there's a reason. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the Glowing Sea for a reason. Yeah, so... Interradiation? How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor? That would be possible. Please go there with the power armor. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. So we basically need By to the go way, there with the freaking... I unplug Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. So basically we need to get there with the power armor. Start a glow... Oh, oh there's a rad there. Start a glow seat. Find Virgin and glowing seat. Okay, so I know there's like a whole bunch of power armor. Like, like literally, like I have like five from power armor that I can find. Oh, wait, can I steal the Man, uh, being seen. Oh, detected, detected, hidden. Good. For the old sure don't days. make them like they used to. Yeah. Sure. Um, Daddy O. Daddy O do. Charisma. Oh no, no, I don't need that now. Hot plate. Am I looking? Am I looking? No. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Uh, what this? Ooh. Center module. Ooh. Hmm. I'm gonna take that anyway. It's fine. Get the hairbrush. Irma's terminal. You know what? No, I might as well. I might as well. Just, uh, earth. No, uh, waste. No, no, um, trite? No, no, um, 
and that. No, what the fuck? No. Uh, scarf! Oh, fuck it. <laughs> I don't care. Fuck it. Anyway, come on. Okay, so we're gonna go out, and when we come back, we're gonna be going to the, we're gonna, I'll probably be back with the power. Probably gonna go to, like, the Brotherhood of Steel thing, get a power armor, then come back. Or probably, I think there's one sanctuary. I think I left a power armor in sanctuary, so I'm gonna go to one of those, get a power armor, and then go to the Glory Z. Hopefully that works. Let's get out here. Talk to Nick, Valentine, or Constant Val. Whatever. Whichever one, whichever one works. Whichever one's better. Huh? Huh? What the heck? Oh, okay, so... When, when we, okay, so when we come back, we're gonna be at the Virgil... We're gonna be at the Glowing Sea with the Power Armor. Yeah, see the Power Armor here? And the Power Armor... Here, right? I think that's... Was it? Oh, I thought that was... Okay. Okay, so the Power Armor is like... Right there. So I'm gonna go and get that. And then go to the Glowing Sea. Which is... Wow. Wow, all the way there. Okay. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, all saving. Drifter. Oh gosh, your face! What the? Ew. 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 Stay off him, everyone. And. Ew.